Hey, what's up guys? I'm c -Wuv. When I started my YouTube channel, I didn't know I was going to end up making all these different size floating bed frames. I like to build and do other things too, but after having helped literally hundreds of people from all over the world, I think it's about time to build the full size. This build did not go as planned, so I'll show you a couple things you should not do. Just like the king size, I don't even have a full size bed. This video is just to show you how to build one for yourself. Feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments section. Come on, let's take a look. I'll start off with a great idea for my brother by showing the current prices for some items used in this build so we can look back some time later and compare the cost of goods between now and then. I'll reuse some 2x6s I had left over from the original queen size for the base and I'm going to waste a ton of time trying to build the frame with 2x4s instead of 2x6s. I wanted to go with a different look for this one so I thought the 2x4s would be a nice change. These are cheaper, wider, and easier to handle. It just seemed like a win-win to me. Not knowing this is going to be a critical flaw in my design, I'm going to go through all the regular motions of very nicely sanding and preparing my boards for this project. Several nights in a row, I sanded until it was dark outside to make sure this was going to be perfect. Once I'm ready, I'll get back upstairs and start laying out everything to be assembled. For the base, I'm going to start off with two pieces at 30 inches and three pieces at 60 inches. These aren't going to be right, this is just what I started off with. I'm still 100% sure of myself at this point though, so I'll keep zooming through here making sure to carefully measure and secure everything together the way it should be. The assembled base right now measures 30 inches by 63 inches. The assembled frame will measure 54 by 75 and the joists are spaced out as shown on the screen. I'll run the vacuum for about a mile by the time this is over. You've seen the Simpsons strong ties on my channel before and I'm not even going to measure the spacing this time. I'll just throw them like last time and try to look awesome but really my lack of planning is going to contribute to some problems here. I'll wrestle with it for a short time before securing it down and giving it the stability test. This is when I'm going to realize there is a serious problem. I'll test it on the other side just to make sure that I get the same failing result and, as expected, I did, so I'll be modifying this somehow. Super quick, I'll make the base 36 inches wide instead of 30, and while that did help a little, it still wasn't nearly stable enough, so I'll make a trip back to the lumber yard to get some wood that is more expensive now. I'll cut it all up and put it together first to make sure it's going to work before I spend the time sanding it down. The base, as seen in the video now, is two pieces at 36 inches and three pieces at 60 inches. Once assembled, it will measure 36 by 63. For the frame, two pieces at 54 inches and two pieces at 72 inches will make the perimeter. You will also need four pieces at 51 inches for the joists. Don't forget to put a rug down on the floor first if you have hardwood. You don't want to scratch it all up if your bed frame happens to move a little bit. Once I've got the frame assembled with 2x6s, I'll make more than sure it is stable and show you what it looks like when it is completely done. I'll spend this time taking the entire thing apart and sanding all my boards down so they look very nice for these pictures right here. I'll also take a moment to wish you Happy New Year 2022 and encourage you to crush that like button and subscribe to my channel if you like what you've seen so far. Back at square one, I'll attach these new lights that I'm using. These aren't quite as long as ones that I've used previously, but they are motion activated and you can control the color of the lights from an app on your smartphone. I'll leave a link for these in the description. The shoes will be there too because I'm sure someone will ask about them. I'll look at the whites for a moment and finally get on my way to putting this full size bed frame together for the last time. I hope. I'll be using 3 inch fasteners for this build to make sure there won't be any questions regarding the strength. In my previous floating bed frame builds, there have been a lot of people asking if the bed frame is stable, if it will tip over to one side or another. I'm spending quite a bit of time in this video to make sure you guys understand that this build is as stable as it can be. My video editing skills have come a long way since I started this YouTube journey, but I can assure you, there's no trickery going on here. This frame is not going to tip. My favorite thing about this bed frame is still, no broken toes because of a bed post. Here in a moment, I'll show you the packaging for the whites I use, and a very easy way to clean up the look of your frame if you want to. I may have mentioned this in a previous video, I'm not sure, but you can pretty easily just grab yourself a black, full-size fitted sheet to put over the frame. Get you one of these bad boys right here and just throw it on there. That looks nice, so I'll go get on here and walk around some more. Here in a moment, I'll show you a transition that I thought was pretty smooth. I created it on accident and wanted to put it in here again, back to back. Then, I'll briefly show you app control for the whites. I appreciate you taking the time to learn and grow with me. In the king size floating bed frame video, I asked you what country you were watching from. That was a big hit, so you can do that in the comments section of this video if you'd like. Also, please tell me who you're building this bed frame for. I have previously shared a different version of this build with hundreds of people who requested it. If you've already built this bed frame based on my design, I'd sure love to hear from you in the comments section too. Thanks so much for your support. You guys send me messages that are incredibly motivating and encouraging. I guess I'll keep posting and I'll see you soon.